everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new DC Comics Designer Series 7 inch scale Darwin Cook, Supergirl, and Harley Quinn figures from DC Collectibles. Now, these figures come packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the DC Comic Designer Series figures. You've got the window box, the figures are clearly displayed. Off to the side, you have the names of the characters. Down below, you have the Designer Series logo and the name of the artist, Darwin Cook. Supergirl is listed as figure number two in the series, and Harley Quinn is figure number three. On the sides of the packaging, you have artwork from Darwin Cook, and then on the back of the packaging, you have a look at all the figures in this wave. So there's a Batman figure along with Supergirl and Harley Quinn. I do not have the Batman figure, so I won't be reviewing that one. And then down below, it tells us that the figures were sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. All right, let's get these open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside the packaging along with their other contents. So the Harley Quinn figure comes with a mallet, and this is done with just a brown plastic. There's really not much in the way of paint detail on this. I do like the sculpting detail on the upper part of the mallet with the little uh, crevices and, and cracks and everything. So it does look like it's actual wood. And then you've got the little gray striping there, which is sculpted on there. And the mallet's done with just a plastic. It's it's not hollow, so it's got a little weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight. And then the figure can hold it in the in the left hand. Um, basically, you have to kind of squeeze it between the thumb and the fingers, but she will hold it nice and tight. The right hand is too open, so she can only put it in the one hand. So Supergirl comes with two different accessories. She comes with Crypto, the super dog, and then Streaky, the super cat. And I'm familiar with Crypto. I'm not really that familiar with uh, Streaky. I didn't know there was a super cat. But the cat's done with just brown plastic, and you've got the red cape. The cape is done with a pretty hard plastic, so there's not really much in the way of flexibility. And then the cat has a yellow collar with a metallic silver uh, little tag, which is shaped like the Superman symbol. And then has the tail... The cat, the head is not articulated on the cat. You can move both the front and the back legs backwards and forwards, but that's it. The tail does not move. There's no articulation with the tail. Now with Crypto, Crypto has a little more articulation. He's done with just a white type plastic. You do have a little bit of sculpting detail like here where it looks like they've sculpted some parts of the fur. And here again on the leg and then up here on the neck. And I like the face expression that they've given Crypto and his tongue's hanging out like a dog normally, like you normally see with a dog. And then he's got a blue collar which has some little uh, holes uh, sculpted in. And again, he's got the metallic silver tag that looks like the Superman symbol. And he's got a cape that's bigger than the cat's and a little more flexible, but still it's a pretty hard plastic. Now with Crypto, you can turn the head. He does have articulation there at the neck, so you can turn his head. The jaw's not articulated. And then like with the cat, you can do the legs, both the front and the back legs, forward and back. The tail is not articulated on the dog, but you can put them in like flight poses so it looks like that they're flying. And I guess uh, both the cat and the dog are supposed to be able to fly. So for the figures themselves, I like the sculpting detail. The paint applications are basic but solid. And I think out of all the different designer series figures that we've seen representing different artists, I think these Darwin Cook ones do the best in actually representing his artwork from the comic book pages. So with starting with Harley Quinn, I like the face expression. She's got a big smile and the wide eyes. She has very white, pale skin. Her hair is done. One side's red, one side's black. She's got the ponytails, and you've got some sculpting detail in the hair for lines to make it look like it's actual hair. So I like that. And then she's got the choker chain that has the little bells on. And that's done with just a gray paint. And then she's got the top with one side has a star. The right side has a star and the left side has a diamond. And you got some line work sculpted in the outfit. So it does look like she's actually wearing clothes. On her butt she's got another star and the three diamonds. She's got the gloves. One side's red and one side's black. And she's got the leggings. And the boots with the different colors and you got the laces sculpted on there so overall nice detailing with this figure and then with supergirl supergirl again has a big smile and she's got the kind of wide eye blue eyes good decent skin tone she's got the yellow hair it's kind of flowing the hair is done with a pretty hard plastic there's a little bit of flexibility on the back here but overall the hair is pretty solid the cape is done with that rubber vinyl material so the cape definitely has some flexibility as does her skirt piece and she's got the, the Supergirl symbol on her chest, and that's sculpted on there. 
pretty solid paint applications there. And she's got the red belt with the yellow belt buckle. Good skin tone on the legs. And then pretty basic with the boots. But you do have a little bit of sculpting detail on the sides of the boots with the line work. And you got the high heels. So the Harley Quinn figure stands the tallest of the bunch with her ponytails. And she stands just a little bit under 7 inches tall. Then Supergirl is closer to about 6 and 3 quarter inches tall. Crypto is just a little bit under three inches, and then Streaky is about one and three quarter inches tall. Articulation is pretty basic on these figures. With Harley, you can turn the head to the left and the right, and she's got some down movement, and she can look up pretty good, and you can pivot the head to the left and to the right. The Supergirl figure, the, you can turn the head to the left and the right, but she doesn't really have that much back and forth movement, nor does she have much in the way of pivot to the left and the right. You can get the arms out on both figures. Their arms are attached with their standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder, and they've got good rotation. Neither one has a bicep swivel. Both have a single hinged elbow, so you can only bend the elbow about that much. And then neither one has a swivel at the elbow. You can swivel at the wrists. Now, Harley has a swivel here at the midsection, basically at her tank top, whereas Supergirl does not have any kind of waist swivel or midsection articulation at all. The legs, you can just do forward and back you can't do the splits or anything with these there's no thigh swivel with either one single hinge knees and then no ankle articulation on either one and then both have peg holes on the bottoms of their feet okay so that's my review so overall i would say these are pretty nice looking figures if you're a fan of darwin cook then i think these are ones you'll want to take a look at articulation is definitely light for both figures so there's not much you can do with them other than just stand them on your shelf but again if you're a fan of of darwin cook's artwork i do think these figures are a good representation of that i like the pack-ins with the crypto and the streaky and harley quinn's mallet is you know pretty basic but you know it's fitting for the character so both of these figures have been out for a little while now, so you should be able to find them at your local comic and specialty stores. Also, you can pick it up at Big Bad Toy Store. We'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later. <laughs>